In this tutorial, we're going to be setting up Audio Link on the GUI materials of this avatar. First off, we're going to need to install Audio Link in this project. And then after that's done, we're actually going to be configuring the materials themselves to be Audio Link. So let's get started. First, let's set up Audio Link. To do that, navigate to your Creator Companion, find your project in the Projects list, click on Manage Project, and then in the selected repos right here, Make sure you have selected curated as well. Make sure this is ticked. Then in the packages list, find audio link and press this little plus button right here on the right hand side. And now the package will be installed. And then we can go back into our Unity project right here and it'll process the installation of this package. If you do get a pop up like this, I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do here. This is going to be something that's going to be different for every project. I know that in every single one of my projects, I've said no thanks because I don't want Audio Link to just kind of like mess around with my shaders uh, that I have set up already. And that process might end up breaking things. So I always say no thanks. And that has been working out pretty, pretty well for me. I can't give support on anything related to the actual Audio Link project itself. That is not something that I work on. Now, as we can see, the avatar is loaded in and we don't have any compilation errors. We can ignore these. These aren't really a problem. And now let's put an audio link controller into the scene so we can see what the audio link will do to our avatar when we're setting up audio link. So to do that, let's go into packages. Let's find audio link. It's going to be at the top. And then go to runtime. And then find audio link avatar. Take that prefab and just drag it into our hierarchy right here. And now, if we were to expand this prefab and click on this YTDLB player, we will be able to choose which video we would like to play for the music. All right. And now when we go into play mode, this video will start playing and Audio Link will be reacting. Okay, and now we're ready to set up Audio Link on the avatar. The way that Audio Link works in the Goose Shader is that it's done using modulation. If you'd like to learn more about the modulation tools that we have available, we have a whole tutorial available to you in the description. We also have extensive documentation available through these question marks right here, and a whole manual that'll explain various concepts like oscillators and time bases, mass channels, and everything else that you need to know about using these features with the Goose Shader. So let's set something up. First off, I'm going to go into play mode so that we have the music playing. Oh, actually, as we can see, we have some problem here. There are no audio listeners in the scene. This means that there's no audio listening component. And so what has happened is that I actually don't have a main camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click camera. And then it already has an audio listener. So we just need to have a camera in the scene. So now let's go into play mode. Okay, so now we can actually start setting things up. The first thing that I want to do is I want to make these emissions a hide and then show up with response to some kind of audio link band. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the goo material and find the emissions. And it's this texture right here. I'm going to set the texture color to be oscillated using this button. And then as you can see, I'm going to choose an audio link band. So it's already on band one. And it's already oscillating with respect to something. Now let's take a look at modulation, oscillators, band one. Okay, so we can see it's oscillating with respect to bass. So I'm gonna keep that, but I'm gonna enable smoothing because I'd like this to be a little bit more smooth. I'm gonna set up the default value of this to be one. So whenever audio link isn't available, this oscillator will have a value of one, which means that it'll use the end color right here, which means that the emissions will be visible. Now we have an emission that fades in and out with the base band hit. And then what I'm going to want to do is I have a, this normal map here as well. It's a secondary normal map. And what I want to do is I want this to kind of show in and out with respect to music being played. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the strength oscillator to be audio link energy. So. This is kind of now moving with the volume levels of the music. It's a very subtle effect, but I like that. I'm actually not going to enable smoothing on that. I'm going to name this base as well. Okay. Now, I'm pretty happy with this right now so far. We're going to add a little extra things to the emission later on. So, I actually want to oscillate the size of the goo with respect to some kind of band. I'm not quite sure which one yet, but let's set up a second band here. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. Let's say 7.5 to 8, maybe. Maybe something like low mids and enable smoothing. 
I should add a little bit of life to the group, and that's a little bit jittery. Let's set this to base, maybe. Yeah, so I feel like this needs to be heavily smooth. So we're going to pick that to 13. Base. Base very smooth. Okay, I like that. And let's set this a little bit higher. Maybe like a 9 or something. See how that will go. When the base will... Yeah, there we go. 8.5. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now let's actually add a little bit of dripping oscillation as well. I think I want to do max length. Let's set this to the baseband as well. I don't quite like that, so we're going to start with a little bit of drip and then kind of expand the drip. I don't like that either. But what about the very smooth one? Yeah, that's a lot better, I think. Adds a little bit of life to the goo. Okay, I like that with the dripping. I might actually oscillate the start, start angle as well with that, with, um, with that energy band. So let's start at 0.6 and then go down to like zero. That's a very subtle effect, but you can kind of see it if we disable this. I think this needs to be smooth, actually. So I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to smooth this quite heavily. Let's say I'm smoothing a two and then use this right here. All right, that's a lot better. Of course, you can like decide you want a different band here as well. I just feel like using the bass hits is the most, it's the obvious thing to see. Hey, that's about it for oscillators, I think. Now, let's go ahead and add a scrolling mask to this emission. So, let's expand the mask here. Set the mask channel to scroll, mask one, and then enable the scroll mask channel. This will just kind of create a scrolling mask, as you can see, if we visualize this. This will create a scrolling mask. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a time base. Again, if you'd like to learn more about what this is, we have a whole tutorial on time bases, oscillators, and the whole modulation concept available in the description. So I'm going to set the time base to be band time one, then set up band time one to be an increasing base band. So now this should only move when the base is hitting. It's a little bit too sensitive, I feel like. So let's set the speed to like 0.2 or something. What, what if we do smooth? Yeah, that's more what I was looking for. You know what? I don't quite like how that looks. You know what? What if we don't have the oscillator in this case then? Yeah, I like that without the oscillator actually. Just having the scroll mask there is a lot nicer, I think. And now let's actually set up a time base on the goo as well. So movement speed right here has a time base on the goo. Set that to the base as well. No, so now as you can see, the goo doesn't move at all unless the base uh, time base is increasing. So let's create a new time base. And let's set the band here to be base, but let's use at the time and instance, let's use that. And then also, let's use this as default, so we still have Google movement if, if um, audio link isn't available. And let's say this is base plus time. And let's use this on this right here. Okay, yeah. And as we can see, there's still some goo, but suddenly the movement will significantly speed up whenever the base is hit. I don't quite like this. Let's um, let's slow this down. 0 0.2, 0 0.2 maybe. Yeah, that's a lot better, I think. You know what? Let's do something as well here. Let's add an emission color here. Something like maybe this kind of blue. Then mask it using a rim mask. Let's enable that rim mask here. Invert it, so it's kind of like a bit of a rim lighting. Yeah, so it's, yeah, so it's kind of got the rim lighting effect now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to oscillate this using the smooth base from 
black to that previous color that we have. So let's copy that color and paste this in there and set the band to that. So now whenever the base sets, we have a rim there. Actually, let's let's set this to oscillate between, into a different color, like, like a red. And if you want more ideas for what to do here, we have uh, a whole scene available to you right here in Value Factory. Go to Ideas and Examples Audio Link Showcase Scene. You can go ahead and look through the various things that we have set up. So yeah, that's about it. Go ahead and experiment and try out. You can do some really cool stuff when you combine features such as mass channels, oscillators, and time bases all into one thing, such as this. This is just a tip, the tip of the iceberg, really. So yeah, have fun!